Hey guys, so today I decided to film an updated photo card collection video and I'm making my life easier by dividing this into two parts. So um, in this video, you'll just be seeing my 2 p.m. collection, which has grown since my last photo card update in January. There hasn't been a lot of changes regarding organization and I guess decorating, um, but there has been quite a few changes um, in completed collections and I guess expanding collections. And like I did for my last video, I'm going to link um, the photo card form for uh, the 2 p.m. thread. It's easier to link that than explain what every um, individual card is. Let's start with their group Korean releases. And hands up was the first one to get cards for the most part. Member selection. And Brown Taiwan Press. Gentleman's Game. And the monograph for Gentleman's Game. And then for Japanese releases, um, I've been really happy in that I've finally completed some collections here. And made some great progress on the more troublesome sets. I'm still missing at Taekyun's um, card there. But everything else is completed, um, including now um, Galaxy of 2 p.m. And I've made a lot of progress on their Promise set. So I've basically kind of bought out um, the really cheap member versions on um, Amazon Japan. So there's like none in stock now, but uh, I'm just missing just three now, as you see here from the holes. So much better than um, my last update. And then this is um, the glitter cards that were, I guess, more promotional. They didn't really come in albums. So that's for Genesis of 2 p.m., 2 p.m. of 2 p.m., um, the glitter card version. And then I guess the, I don't want to say more rare, but I don't see these as often, the non-glitter version. And for DVDs, um, I got another Don't Stop, Can't Stop card from Six Nights. And then for Six Higher Days, um, the limited Blu-ray and DVD set came with stickers. And we have fan meeting stuff. And then Wild Beat postcards. And then just a few miscellaneous things. Um, I think the newest edition was this It's Skin card. And that's it for this binder. Now for binder number two. Um, this houses most of the group concert goods. So starting with Korean concerts. We have their first Korean concert. And hands up. And what time is it? Tour goods. And go crazy. Um, I had to change the layout of this because I didn't realize there was a group card for this. Um, so I need to change that. And then for house party, um, I also recently discovered that the wallets came with cards. So I only have half of them here. And then the rest of these cards are from the playing card um, set goods that I organized in this way. And all these are from Six Nights. Um, this is a bit mangled, but this is only like Joker card I found for this set, and it was really cheap. Uh, but now I'm just missing Junkeis and Taekyuns, which is exciting. Now for Japanese concerts, I have all of their tickets here for their fan club lottery tickets and then for our message cards um, still is a little bare but I think I've picked up a couple since then and then these are from Genesis of 2 p.m. stickers and then just more fan club lotto stickers that you could win for their 
really, I guess, participation stickers you get for buying a lot of tickets um, for various things. So a lot of holes there still. And then this is from their 10th anniversary and now into larger things. So photo sets from Takeoff, Public of 2 p.m., Legend of 2 p.m. Um, I do need to get more of the little post-it notes for their Go Crazy Japan single. Um, Genesis 2 p.m. More fan meeting cards, and then um, random pass cards for six higher days, postcards, and then the random passes for their, the 2 p.m. in Tokyo Dome. And this is Nukun's uh, film strip you could win from their, um, the 2 p.m. in Tokyo Dome uh, fan club lottery. And now all these are slip covers to go over the jewel case versions of um, the respected albums. And these are the little Polaroid things you went through another fan club lottery for their 10th anniversary. So these are from the Zoo PM Cafe 2. And then I organized the six nights um, viewing cards um, in this way because it just made sense with the backs. And then some promotional postcards and group cards and such. And now this is the last group binder I have for miscellaneous things. Um, starting with season's greetings. Again, um, in the photo card forum, you could look to see what everything is. And then these are from hottest um, term kits and these are the random cards you could get from re-upping um, hottest Japan things and then postcards from their newsletter I still need to get these um, but more just JYP nation goods And then more miscellaneous things. Um, these are from Private Book 2 and 3, which you can buy as a fan club member in Japan. Um, it's one of the postcard sets you could buy from a Korean fan meeting. Um, these are stationary sets. Those cards that came with their um, stamps and some It's 2 p.m. things. And I'm still not really sure what these are. I think they're official, but I just stuck them here. And CF things. And then lastly for this binder, I have star cards. So I have a complete set minus the rare autograph cards, which I have a couple um, towards the end. So, so far I have Koons and Chan Sung's um, rare autograph cards. I've been eyeing some lots for other members, but they're really expensive. Um, maybe one day I'll break down and try to buy those. Um, and then these are various sticker sheets. Um, first two being official, and then these aren't official of chance on. So I'm gonna go out of age order, but this is the start of all of my solo merchandise, which makes up more of my collection than group things at this point. Um, but starting with Kunz, um, these are cards from his Me album. I still haven't bought the Thailand press of that. I've been kind of dreading it because how expensive it is to ship it. 
overseas. Um, various things from his solo concerts and fan meetings. So I do want to fill out one of these gaps eventually. Um, I just wait for um, bundle deals to pop up for especially the random postcard size trading cards. Sometimes you just have to be patient with the really good deals. Now for Taekyun. Um, this page is finally complete. I have his high touch card. And I do have quite a few of his Winter Hitchery trading cards, finally. Um, I still need more to fill out um, some spaces. And these are from group concerts. And from his Oak Hat Christmas events. And then his acting things. So I've been trying to get these flyers to divide up um, what each individual project is. So um, you mostly just find those for movie posters. Uh, but um, these are also new additions from the Korean DVD of Dream High. And that's it for this binder. Now on to William's section. Um, I really should just make individual uh, member binders at this point since these are all bursting um, but um, I don't think too much has changed since January um, but here are all of Wu Young's things again So I think the only set I'm missing from his solo concerts are his Busan concert cards. I'm missing quite a few of those because those are harder to pick up, especially when you're using Japanese proxy sites. Um, um, but the other new thing with Wuyung's section is I finally made an actor PM uh, section for him before these things were with Taekyun's um, Dream High section. And then Chansung, I still need to get more of these cards. Um, I keep just seeing the same ones available for prices I'm willing to pay. <laughs> so just have to be a little bit more patient with completing um, Complex. But here are more goods. And there are a few new additions because he did have a fan meeting since my last Put a card update. Um, his too much transformation fan meeting. And then from group things. At this point, I feel like I should just make a whole group binder for. <laughs> these miscellaneous group cards because the soul sections are getting so full now. But, um, this is what I'm working with so far, or for now. And the last bit of his acting section. Now for Min Jun's section. Not too much has changed, though I did recently acquire the last of his My 20s Polaroid cards, so. That should come to me soon. And other than that, I don't think too much has changed in Jim K's section. So 
I need a lot of his sticker sets. But I've been pretty good with um, these random trading cards from all of his events. Just need to fill in a few holes here and there so everything looks nice and complete. And group things. And here I have um, some Juno things that wouldn't fit in his binders. And yes, that is plural. Um, so um, this is obviously from group stuff. Um, but some miscellaneous Junho things. Um, the flashlight DVD cards I have at the moment, which I probably should just put with his album cards, but they're here for now. And then his acting things. Um, various movies. And this section's new from his Roses and Tulips movie that came out a few months ago. And I have almost have all of his postcards. I just need one more. Um, and then from his Korean dramas. So for this Junho binder, um, we start off with Japanese albums. Let me fill in gaps there to make the pages look pretty. And then I think I finally have a full set of this. I don't remember if I had the full set before or not. Um, and then um, for the Tower Records bookmarks, I want to change this to white paper, but I just had black on hand, and I'm missing a couple still. Um, and then Korean albums. Things from two. Which should be new. And then concert merch. I just stuck all of his scratch cards prizes there. And then his auto tickets. I got a couple more of these message, message cards, but I always kind of forget what I, or when I pick up things. Should be there. Sticker sets. for his piss card sized cards and just other tour merch. Start with Kimi Nikoe. Still missing that one card, which isn't hard to get. I've just been trying to get it in a bundle and feel. Last night, starting with the limited cards, which I'm still missing quite a few. And then the regular cards. And then last time, sold Polaroids. Now Hyper, when we start getting to a ridiculous number of cards for his solo concerts. And I, I explained this in my previous photo card update videos for my 2PM binders, but I do try to get all of Junho's cards from his concerts, um, which range it's from either 50 cards, or in the case of this set, 110 cards. Um, for other members, when they have solo concerts or group concerts, um, I just try to fill out a nice page or two. Because otherwise, um, it would just be ridiculous trying to get all these. From his 2017 summer tour, Encore. And 
And now for his crayon fan meeting uh, canvas. Um, I guess my advice for those who want to collect um, these event cards from um, concerts and fan meetings and such. And the Korean ones are most difficult to get secondhand unless you know um, Korean hottest or people who went to these events. Um, whereas the Japanese ones like from Winter Boy here are much easier to get, especially in bundle deals on um, Japanese proxy services, um, in my experience. Um, usually the Korean event ones, um, it's best to um, try to get those right after the event occurred because sometimes you have Japanese hottest sell things on Japanese auction sites right after the, the event um, because they're just leftovers that they picked up. Um, otherwise, um, you just have to be really patient for them to come up again. And the last few from the flashlight. And his full right set. And now from his unforgettable day, Korean fan meeting, which this is one of the ones I actually have a complete set for. On um, the other ones, I'm either missing a lot of cards or just one or two. And then Jinho you know the best in Japan. And the Polaroids from that. And I need to make a little label here. But this is from the Junho the Best in Seoul. So the memo cards and the cards here. So I have almost a complete set. Um, I'm just missing one card, which I think I'm gonna just pick up on a proxy site. Um, I found one listing for a good price. So I just need to nab that when I start using those again. And then these are all from group concerts and things. So um, again, I try to just pick up all of Juno's cards because I'm weak. And not many of these are super complete. I'm just, again, missing a card or two or in some cases a lot, um, which I'll point out. Um, but this one is complete, minus his live photo sets that you get from mail order services and unit cards. <laughs> um, Six Nights is almost complete. I'm just missing some of these white shirt ones. And I'm missing a ton from um, their 10th anniversary Event. And lastly, I'm going to share my clear file collection as well as um, the larger postcards that wouldn't fit in my photo card binders. So I've shared um, this before, but not, I think, in my photo card collection video from January. Um, but I just found this the best solution to store these larger clear files and larger A4 sized cards and whatnot. I'll put a link in the description where I pick this up, but. I got this very inexpensively. And this first one just mostly houses my clear files and just um, earlier things. So these are all from Republic of 2 p.m. You can buy um, a lot of earlier 2 p.m. clear files and sets. And then this is from the Six Beautiful Days. And you probably notice that the plastic does stick out a bit in these, um, but I don't really mind that. Um, and they're perfect for A4 size photos, as you see here in Jim K section for his solo stuff. So there are quite a few, especially solo projects, I'm missing clear files for that I'd like to pick up someday. Um, 
but I do like the size of these folders. Um, I think they just fit things nicely. And then the last few here are all uh, fan made. And for my second one, I have photo sets. And um, these actually fit really nicely when you stack them like this, surprisingly. Um, I was a little worried that I would need to just get a bunch of two pocket sleeves for all these. But um, happy with how this turned out. And then this is from Chan Sung's fan meeting. And then here are just some more clear files I had. So um, this is official from Tower Records and one of the dream concerts they took part in um, from 2010. And then this is unofficial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of quick flip through of my 2PM photo card binder collection. Um, I made this video mostly for myself because I'm not sure if I'll be able to take all these binders with me in one go um, when I move. I might have to take them um, solely in parts. So this is just more for my reference so that I don't accidentally buy duplicates of things I already own. But that's it for this video. I will be posting a part two video of my photo card collection update um, with the other groups I collect. So do look forward to that and um, a few other videos I have planned.